Hey guys, as you can see I just booted into our Nook and it took 15 seconds in the firmware and 22 seconds overall. And let me just show you what it looks like to enable fast boot in the visual BIOS. So I got my keyboard attached and I'm pressing F2. So, uh, where is it now? It's somewhere in... Uh, where is it? I keep on getting lost here. Boot configuration. So when you enable it, what it doesn't tell you is that once you have it enabled, you can't go back into setup. And uh, I'll show you how to get, um, how to disable fast boot just after we have just booted. So this is fast boot. So this is supposed to be faster. Uh, to be honest, oh, can you hear that? Intel noise. So this is should be booting straight into uh, our ESP. So my keyboard didn't work there. So I was, so the so the bad news is that was un, I was unable to edit that command line. Now once uh, it's it's booted, I can, and now we can see the potential saving right here. So basically, uh, the firmware went down from 15 seconds to 11.6. It's pretty underwhelming in my opinion and now let me show you how you disable fast boot so I just powered off the machine and what you have to do is hold down the power button until you hear three beeps then you let go and then hopefully uh, I should be able to get into uh, the menu again so there, F3, disable fast boot. I'm just selecting that option. And now it should be booting into system D boot. With any luck. This is so slow. And now my keyboard is working. Now I can type E and edit the command line. And also if there's any problems uh, while booting system D, I can now uh, use my keyboard. So fast boot, mm, not very fast and kills important functionality like using